Welcome to our Advanced Placement Psychology series. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 1, Part 3a, focusing on the structures and functions of typical neurons and the process of neural firing. This foundational topic is crucial for understanding how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. Throughout the video, we'll use engaging graphics to visualize these concepts, ensuring you grasp the definitions and their functions clearly. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the structures and functions of typical neurons and how they communicate, setting a strong foundation for your AP Psychology course. Let's start by, exp by exploring the basic building blocks of the nervous system. Neurons. Neurons are specialized cells that transmit information throughout the body, influencing behavior and mental processes. The cell body, or soma, contains the nucleus and is responsible for maintaining the cell's health. It acts as the control center of the neuron. Branching out from the cell body are the dendrites. These tree-like structures receive signals from other neurons, allowing the cell to gather information. The axon is a long projection that transmits electrical impulses away from the cell body. This is how neurons send messages over long distances within the body. Covering the axon is the myelin sheath, which insulates the axon and speeds up the transmission of neural impulses. Think of it like the insulation around an electrical wire. At the end of the axon are terminal buttons that form junctions with other cells in structures called synapses. Neurotransmitters cross these synapses to carry signals to other neurons. Supporting neurons are glial cells. These cells provide essential support, protection, and nutrition to neurons, ensuring their proper function. Let's also cover the reflex arc, a neural pathway that controls reflex actions. Reflex arcs involve different types of neurons and allow for rapid, involuntary responses to stimuli. There are three main types of neurons involved in the reflex arc. One, sensory neurons, carry information from sensory receptors to the CNS. Two, motor neurons, transmit signals from the CNS to muscles, causing movement. Three, interneurons, connect sensory and motor neurons within the CNS, facilitating communication between them. In this section, we explored the basic building blocks of the nervous system, neurons. We discussed the different parts of a neuron and how they work together to transmit information. We also covered the reflex arc and the different types of neurons involved. Understanding these structures and functions is crucial for comprehending how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of the structures and functions of typical neurons. Stay tuned for more videos in our AP Psychology series.